Lindsay Gerhardt. I teach music and chorus at George McGovern Middle School and I nominated Dave Osterquist for Staff Stars. Dave is one of our behavior facilitators at George McGovern, so he comes into classrooms with kids who are struggling and he pulls them out and tries to get them back on track and make sure that they can stay in class and keep learning. If you talk to Dave, it's pretty obvious from any conversation that the most important job Dave's ever had in his life is being a parent and being a dad. And he takes that energy and that pride that he has in being a father and shepherding his own kids to every single kid in this school. And it's just so obvious with his softness, his firmness, his humor, everything he does that he really cares about these kids like they're his own. And that's so important with somebody who's helping these kids who are struggling um, and being a listening ear for them and being the kind of guidance that they need. Dave is a really welcoming person. He's, you know, it's a big school and sometimes we don't all know each other, especially with COVID, we're not really allowed to meet and greet and get out. But every single person in this school knows Dave Osterquist. There's not a single person who's gonna say, wait, who is that one? Is he the one with the great? No, he's in everyone's classroom. He's talking to every person and he knows something about every single person's life that he can relate to and, and find. And he's just, he's the open arms guy. He's the welcoming person, even when he's having to do tough jobs and tough things with kids and step into tough situations, he's going to be the person who pats you on the back afterwards and says, hey, as a teacher after that, are you okay too? He's not just worried about the kids, he's worried about the whole staff and how we can keep going too. I think Dave would kick my butt if I didn't mention that he is also part of a larger team that could all be in this interview today. They could all be staff stars and you know, part of Dave's success comes from being on a strong team and having strong leaders and I think that's something that he would want me to make sure that I said as well. The students have a healthy fear at times of Mr. O. Uh, when he walks into the room, you see them all kind of sit up straight. They know, they're like, oh, no, Mr. O isn't here, the behavior guy's in here. But as soon as they do that, then they start cracking jokes too. You know, hey, Mr. O, what are you doing? Do you even sing? Do you even do music? So it's obvious that they respect him, but it's also obvious that they care about him and they want to get to know him too. Dave goes above and beyond every day. As a teacher, dealing with you know difficult situations with kids, knowing that the person coming down the hall is probably Dave to help is just a big sigh of relief. Like, you know, I've reached my point now and, and this is not something I can handle in my own classroom, but I am confident that our team, our behavior facilitators, and Mr. O are gonna come in and take care of this and it's gonna get handled. There's no if, it's okay, when's Dave gonna be here? He's gonna be able to help us through it. It feels like I'm getting an intervention as an adult. Sometimes I need my adult interventions. You know, Dave comes down and says, hey, how's your day going? And I can say, well, you know, I had this kid do this and I didn't quite know how to handle that. And whether he's busy or not, he'll stop what he's doing and he'll say, okay, Here's how I would have handled that. This is what I would do as a behavior person and this is what you can do next time. And hey, you know, it's okay that you, you messed it up this time. We'll get it tomorrow. And that kind of helps everybody relax a little bit and not feel so self-conscious and so amped up when these things go on. And the thing about him that makes him different from every other teacher in this district who goes above and beyond every day and every other behavior facilitator is that Dave is not interested in and not looking for any kind of praise. Um, he believes that above and beyond is the job. To him, above and beyond is the bare minimum. He's not gonna do just what's on the paper and just what somebody asks him to do. He's gonna go the extra mile. He's gonna connect with kids. He's gonna look into their lives and, you know, he'll, he'll spend an hour on a kid if they need it, if that's what they need. You know, if a kid needs five minutes, he spends five minutes. If they need the whole day, he'll give them every bit of attention that he can um, because he's gonna do whatever it takes to get the job done.